Hey guys, just thought I would do a quick video. Um, what I tell you is about something you can probably tell by the title. Now I was reading last night online and other places that there's... See all this hype about meteors striking the Earth? And how meteors are always missing the Earth? Something's going on here guys, I mean... There's reports out that there's a 7,000% chance that an asteroid 40 metres wide will hit the Earth on September. Now, they didn't say exactly, I think it's the 7th or the 8th, I can't remember. It's, it's It just said September something. Now, there's an awful hype lately on asteroids this, asteroids that, meteors this, meteors that. It's as if they know something is coming. I think there's an event coming guys, I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's alien, I don't know if it's UFOs, I don't know if it's a meteor for outer space, it's got to crash and destroy our city, but something is coming. Um, there's some strange anomalies in the moon with strange lights, people are saying it's volcanoes, other people are saying it's meteor strikes. There's strange things happening all over the planet right now. Weird weather. Something's coming guys, and I don't know if it's like Planet X, I don't know if it's there's an asteroid about to strike and wipe out a city. But just check that out guys, about, it's NASA released that saying, oh there's a 7,000% chance that this meteorite that's 40, it's um, what's an asteroid actually, but it's 40 metres wide. Um, I don't know how long it is, it just says 40 metres wide is going to crash, may crash, into the earth. I say that, may crash. You know what they're like? So I, I don't know if it's just some hype, what you usually get, but it was quite strange to see it. I know that BBC News is fake, I know that Sky News is fake, I know that all the news channels are fake, but it was weird to see it on like CNN. I seen it on CNN, the same thing, Fox News, BBC and Sky News, all of them were talking about this asteroid that could strike in September. I mean, seriously, guys, why are they putting so much of this out? Seriously. And another wee point I, 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 I wanted to make today is um, today is D Day. Well, it's the six. I know people say oh, it was yesterday, but no, that yesterday was the day they left. Um, today is the day they landed on the beaches. I just want you to all take a moment out of your lives today and think about the soldiers that died for us, died for our freedoms. The Americans, the Canadians, the, the British, the, the French, we all went on that beaches and thousands of men died. For you, for me, for us all. Young kids nowadays don't know, don't even know stuff about the war. I, mean, I asked one the other day, they had a 12 year old boy, and I says to him, I says, what can you tell me about the war? And he just looked at me as if I was stupid, and I says, you know, World War II. Oh, well, is that the one, is that the one with the, oh, this is a good one, is that the one, is that the one that was in Iraq? That's what the wee boy says to us. And I went, no. What was the Gulf War? And I went, no, that's World War II. They don't teach these things at school anywhere, guys. It's a disgrace. It's... I don't know. But just think about the men that died for our freedoms and died freeing Europe and now the way Europe's treating Britain and America. So anyway guys, I'm making this a quick video because I need to go and do some gardening and stuff like that. So, get grass to cut away over there and stuff. So, I'll catch you all later and... Have a great day and remember, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Catch you all later, guys. Bye.